In this video, I'll show the changes for Evergarth Alpha 192, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. The first new feature this week is time freezing. You could always press tab to switch to slow motion, but now you can double tap it to stop time completely. I added this because it was difficult to attach weapons and equipment properly when the characters kept trying to grab them or walk away on patrol paths. It's also useful for debugging special effects or getting dramatic angles for screenshots. To get precise angles, you can hold down the spacebar to slow down camera movement. The parameter editor now uses more appropriate controls, instead of just text fields. For example, instead of typing true in the left-handed text field, you can just use a checkbox. Or, if you want to make a character slower or faster, you can just move this slider within the range of reasonable speeds. You can edit some parameters for the entire level as well, by pressing this parameters button in the editor ribbon. This one has the most complicated control, which Jeff adapted from an open source jQuery plugin called Chosen. It's a drop down menu that allows you to select multiple items, so you can use it to add achievements and level objectives without having to remember all the possible options. Recently, I've noticed that the weekly scheduled videos are affecting development by encouraging quick visible changes over those that are harder to demonstrate. To make sure the videos aren't affecting development too much, I'm going to try a more flexible video schedule for a while, where I just release videos whenever it seems appropriate, instead of aiming for every Monday. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, and get a free copy of our new FPS game, Receiver, you can do that at wolfhire.com slash preorder. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfhire.